one exciting project that we have uh, developed at the moment in Nepal is called Integrity Idol. Uh, again, it's this idea of engaging people in creative ways that they understand around these issues of accountability and integrity. And so we're receiving nominations from all over the country for honest bureaucrats and civil servants. Anyone can nominate someone that they've interacted with at a government office. Um, we have a panel of experts who will decide on the top six, and then those six uh, we're going to film at their jobs, um, talking about why it's important to be a person of integrity and accountability and, and how they do it. Um, and then uh, people will vote when we show these these episodes on national TV through SMS and Facebook for their integrity idol. The idea, of course, is to highlight the good people within the system um, and try and create uh, the perception that that bureaucrats and civil servants can be um, can be honest, can serve citizens in the way that they are uh, supposed to, um, and then try and expand that that zone of of the kind of behaviours that that we'd like to see. Um, and, uh, and build on that from, from there. Um, the other thing we're trying to do at the Accountability Lab is redefine what an organisation in this space can be and the way that it operates, um, as well as in terms of the actual projects that we're carrying out. So we live by our principles very much. For example, we publish all of our expenses online in real time. Um, so anyone, anywhere can see exactly how much we're earning, what we're spending. We also have an open Dropbox folder on our website so everyone can see all of the contracts that we're signing, who they're with, how much they're for, um, what the responsibilities would include and so on. So for us there's no confusion about where um, the lines lie, uh, but then for other people they can see that we're really about transparency and accountability. Um, the other point on that is that we really try and highly contextualise our processes internally and externally. So for example, our reporting um, process. Uh, we have something called accountability collectives. So every month we invite all of our partners that we work with to an oral reporting session um, where they can report to us and the rest of the group on what they've done and the progress they've made. We write that down, which serves as our written report, so we're accountable. Um, but then they can share ideas with the rest of the group, see where synergies lie, brainstorm on collaborations. And we find this is much more interesting, useful and fun for everyone, uh, and certainly a lot easier for our partners in these countries who can't always read and write English um, particularly well, uh, than asking them to fill in long matrices or log frames, which is the kind of thing um, that, that tends to happen with a lot of organisations. So in that kind of way, we're, we're trying to redefine what it is that we're doing and how we do it.